Good morning, it is Sunday, July 2nd, and this is your garden tour. So, as you can see, it's very well, grassy, I guess you could say. Um, <clears throat> I plan to weed it and clean some of this up, but it's been extremely hot as of the last couple of days. Um, it's supposed to be a little cooler today and through the next week, so I'm hoping to, here on the 4th, not only get this kind of cleaned up some more, but also my yard. But anyway, so start down here. I haven't seen anything come out of these yet. We'll see what happens, but these are, so for my father's funeral, we gave out these little packets of forget-me-nots. Um, and I thought it would be an interesting idea to plant these up in these little pots and give them away to my family. And if you see this, hopefully, fam, you, uh, oh, there's a little snail. Goodbye. Hopefully this works. If not, well, we'll try again. We got some vegetables here. This is stuff that was in the greenhouse. I brought it out. Some of it's not doing too well here, but I wanted it to, uh, it's getting too hot inside there. Keep moving on. This is the massive sunflower that fell over. So it's gonna do like last year where I had the one over here. Now it's gonna be one over here. And as you can see, there's already a ton of bees, which is great. So our little bell pepper is it's doing okay. It's not really done much, but it's surviving. That's always good. Um, the habanero is though, is going. Like, I don't know what it is about the habaneros, but they just love it right here. Look at all these. Um, the jalapeno back there is not, I mean, it's still alive. We'll see. As summer goes on, if you look over there, the um, Carolina Reaper is gone. I moved it. Figured it needed more sun, so I moved it over here. So I transplanted everything else, so it seems to be okay bit of die back but nothing crazy this is our um, eggplant it's just it's getting little bits of flowers here and there buds anyway so we might have some um, our volunteer tomato I'm pretty sure is the cherry from last year which would make sense there was so many that dropped it's not really funny so let's go back to the asparagus it was looking a little down for a while there. I wasn't getting any stalks, but now it's it's really starting to. So I'm just gonna let it grow out. Our cubanelle. Can't wait to try this. That's a little, a little on the shiny side over here. There we go. So it seems to be doing okay. But I need to. Yeah, it stakes a little too far away, but I may be able to move it. Oh, this is our Roma tomato. Got tons of Romas on there, which is awesome. Um, I don't know if you can see down in there. Let's see. Can I zoom down in there? Right there. We've got a couple of tomatoes growing. Nothing crazy. I kind of opened this up a little bit to give some more sunshine to the the, the uh, sun gold that's here and we've got a little bit see right there we got a little bit of flowering and a little bit of I did pick a couple of sun golds the other day they were a little overripe but they weren't too bad um, obviously this is our zucchini I haven't seen a lot of zucchinis come off this lately but these leaves are just massive Oh, I'd say that. There's one right there. Let's see. There it is. So, we've got an unknown melon. I'm not sure if it's a pumpkin or what. One there. There's an even bigger one. Right there. Right next to what I'm assuming is a spaghetti squash. But I think these 
these are pumpkins, but these are growing from the actual jack o' lanterns I threw in there after Halloween, which is cool. Now, we'll get down in here. I already picked one of four, but we got a pickling cucumber right there. So if we move on, we've got our beans growing here. I picked a few of the, uh, the uh, more of the garlic yesterday. They're, uh, these these are these need a little longer, but they're not too far behind. Another sunflower that is falling over. We get over here. Yeah, they uh, this pumpkin hasn't really been enjoying the the heat. It's as you can see shriveled up, but that guy over there is doing pretty well. Oh, we got our first uh, squash beetle, I think. Uh, oh yeah, that's not good. Oh well, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Anyway, we've got a little bit of corn growing here. That one that got pretty tall. Now, what I hadn't shown yet was this guy. Look at this thing. That is just absolutely massive. And thanks to the little trellis work here, it's actually standing up. You can tell it's pushing against it. I'm hoping, because I only see the one head right there, that this isn't a wild one, and this is actually one of the ones I planted. <laughs> we will. So wait and see. We got quite a bit of vining here. I'm not exactly certain what it is that's growing over here. But I need to get it off the fence. I just don't know how to get back there. I love the look, but it does make it hard to do anything. So let's move over here. I have quite a few strawberries. That are just waiting to be turn red. One of the few here. I've got one that's kind of right there. It's very close. Probably later today. Okay. Now let's move on over here. Two peaches which are starting to get a blush I can't wait to try these out and the apple tree we just got quite a few apples on it We've got some up there. That's going to be kind of hard to get to, but I guess I'll get a ladder. <laughs> if the birds don't get it first. And I think it's pretty much the end for the hollyhock. But there are a ton of seeds that I plan to spread in lots of different places. So, anyway. <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a wonderful, well, we're almost to the 4th, so have a wonderful 4th of July.